Welcome to the Royal Rocket instructional video on how to properly seal your thin air press using the sealing tape included in your kit. After putting your glued project into the thin air press, pull the two outside corners of the open end of your tap bag. Try to get the two layers of your tap bag to lay flat. Using your thumb, gently press along the inside edge of your sealing tape. Then gently knead the sealing tape towards the outside edge of the bag. This technique will help prevent air bubbles from being trapped inside the sealing tape. Spending time on this step will help ensure an airtight seal. Here is a good example of where air could leak into your tap bag. Look for light colored areas along the length of your sealing tape. Using your thumb and fingernail, knead firmly down on these areas until the sealing tape looks black. Once you've firmly pressed one side of the sealing tape, flip the vinyl over and have a look at the other side. Also have a look at the sealing tape where it has been forced into the beaded edge of the vinyl bag. If the sealing tape is not pushed firmly into the beaded edge, there is a potential of air leakage. You can use the handle of the manual vacuum pump or a small block of wood to force the sealing tape into this area. Now let's have one more look at how to properly seal your tap bag. Once you know what to look out for, it should be relatively easy to seal your tap bag to ensure an airtight seal. To finish off, let's relook at the steps involved to properly seal your tap bag. Our Roar Rocket sealing tape, if properly used, will ensure that your vacuum veneered project will be properly laminated after the glue dries. Okay, and I get to go home early. It's a low high Friday. It's called Island Style. Island Style. It always makes me smile. Island Style. Island Style. Too good to believe. And I'm never. Come on down and see that I